And in some breaking news that is coming in, in what might be providing a fillip to India's bid to have Jaish e Mama chief Masood Azhar listed as a global terrorist, France is set to move a fresh proposal soon in the United Nations Security Council to seek a ban on Masood Azhar. This will be the second time France will be party to such a proposal at the United Nations. In 2017, the US, supported by the UK and France, had moved a proposal at the United Nations Shank Sanctions Committee 1267 to ban the chief of Pakistan-based terror outfit. However, the proposal was blocked by China. We have Siddhan Sibal now joining us on the phone line for more on this story that's breaking here on Beyond World is One. Siddhan, talk to us. What are your sources telling you at this point in time? Well, big development. It has been now confirmed that France will be proposing at the United Nations Security Council that Masood Azhar, the chief of the Jaish e Mohammed, the organization behind the terrible terror attack last week in Pulwama that killed more than 40 CRPF personnel, will be now put at the United Nations Security Council, the terror list there as an international terrorist. Remember, China has been blocking the listing of Masood Azhar as an international terrorist. Last time also, the French government proposed it along with the American government and the British government but it was blocked by China. But now there is a fresh momentum after the terror attack which took place in Pulwama. And the world has seen who is behind it. Uh, uh, Jash Mohammed is behind it. And I can also confirm another big development. Even as we speak, there is a meeting of the FAT of the Financial Action Task Force meet, which is taking place in Paris. Uh, in the meeting, the French uh, government will be proposing the continuation of uh, Pakistan uh, on the grey list. Remember, Pakistan was also put on uh, the grey list last year and continuation of Pakistan Islamabad at uh, the grey list means that it will it can very soon convert it, it into the black list which means that that territory, that jurisdiction, that means that country is not viable to have a, a, a financial transaction because that financial tra transaction will be part, can be a part of terror financing. That will be a big blow to the Pakistani economy, which is already facing a lot of pressure. We know how the, uh, the government, uh, Imran Khan, has been going to Riyadh, he has been going to UAE, he has been going to China, and he has been going to the IMF to get bailouts after bailouts to make sure that the economy is put back on the track. But he is, in a sense, not doing well. We know the negotiations with IMF are not doing well. But by and large, the big story right now is that the French government will be back, backing the proposal to put uh, uh, Masood Azhar as an international terrorist under the United Nations Security Council 1267 committee, a committee which was uh, formed after the terror attack, uh, nine, uh, the, the uh, 9-11 terror attack in New York, so that there is the list of uh, terrorists, uh, especially Al-Qaeda related terrorists. So that is the big focus and this development coming days after the Pulwama attack, just five days after Pulwama attack, the focus now will be, will Beijing uh, again act as a spoil sport or will it also now back the the listing of Masood Azhar as an international terrorist because if Beijing doesn't back the right Siddhan Sibal, our principal diplomatic correspondent joining us uh, with the latest on that story that's breaking over here. France is seeking a ban on Jaish e Mohammed chief Masood Azhar at the United Nations. India stand on Masood Azhar gains momentum. We will be keeping you updated on the latest on the front as and when we get more details.